Hi guys, I'm Julian. I've been hosting DNews for the last couple months now, and DNews asked me if I wanted to talk about anything that I'm passionate about, which was a mistake. Because now, I'm gonna talk about my favorite thing in the world, which is ice hockey. It's hockey season again, finally. It's my favorite sport to watch. I think it's really entertaining. But what I love most about it is hockey is a great example of a lot of scientific principles at play right in front of you where you can watch it. Hockey's got some of the fastest action because you're on basically a frictionless surface, which is ice. And there's actually no scientific consensus on why ice is slippery or even how ice skating works. There's theories that pressure from the blades melts the ice and that forms a layer of water that skaters can skate on or maybe the friction heats it up, but that doesn't really explain why a puck can slide across the ice or how when some bender of a Zamboni driver leaves too much water after he cleans the ice, the puck doesn't slide at all. That's an unanswered question that's still miffing a lot of uh, scientists, but we do know that hockey players can go real fast. Uh, hockey players can skate over 20 miles an hour and that leads to huge collisions. When players meet in open ice, they can be going a combined speed of 40 miles an hour or 64 kilometers per hour if you're not an American viewer. And that's basically like being in a car accident without the car around you. So hockey hits tend to be huge and massive and spectacular and you get a yard sale of just gloves and helmets and sticks all over the place. And the sticks themselves are another example of amazing science at work. Because the sticks flex and store kinetic energy when they shoot, they can get a puck going 108 miles an hour. That's about 170 kilometers an hour. So a lot of things at play. And yet when you watch a game, you just have a great time and you don't think about all the science that you're getting to witness. My favorite thing in the world, I played hockey in college. I know, I know, because it may surprise you, but I'm also a bit of a nerd. But uh, I think it's a great example of witnessing science in the everyday. So are there any examples you guys can think of of some of your favorite things that have scientific principles that make them so awesome. I'd love to hear about that. I'd also love to hear about your thoughts on head injuries in sports because when you get such massive kinetic energies at play, one of the major problems right now is concussions and chronic traumatic encephalopathy. That's a tough one, but it's something football players and hockey players are suffering from. So we have a video for you. You can check out right over here and uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So let me know if you're a hockey fan, favorite winter sport, anything like that. Let's hear it, shout it out. I'm Julian, thanks for tuning in guys.